Now, Mr. President, on another matter, I noticed that a number of my Democratic colleagues attended a small protest rally yesterday. <clears throat> it was right here on the Capitol grounds. Apparently, it was put out by a number of left-wing pressure groups, including MoveOn.org, Planned Parenthood, and Big Labor. So what were they were, uh, protesting out there? What outrage brought leading Democrats to join this protest on the east front of the Capitol? Turns out, it was the fact that Republicans let middle-class families and American small businesses keep more of their own money. That's right, the Democrats are rallying to repeal the tax cuts. Never mind that our own pro-growth tax reform has led to $1,000 bonuses, pay raises, educational opportunities, or other new benefits for literally millions of Americans. Democrats still want to repeal it. Never mind the new estimate that says tax reform will yield more than a million new jobs in the next decade. Or the fact that jobless claims are at their lowest level since, listen to this, 1973. No amount of good news will shake Democrats' confidence that they know how to spend the American people's money better than the American people themselves. My friend, the Democratic leader, said so right here on the floor a few weeks ago, and this is exactly what he said. There are much better uses for the money. Really? On average, a family of four earning the median income will save about $2,000 on their taxes. I don't think a middle-class family will have difficulty finding good ways to use $2,000. They certainly don't need a bureaucrat to do it for them. Maybe they need a new washer and dryer or refrigerator. Maybe it'll help them make the down payment on a second car. Maybe they'll use it to keep up with rising health costs, since Obamacare has utterly failed to keep costs down for American families. Whatever they choose, I'm glad the Republican tax reform is letting hardworking parents keep more of their own money. But my Democratic colleagues obviously disagree. They're rallying to take back, to take back that family's money so they can spend it themselves. They're so out of touch that they scoff at a $2,000 tax cut, $1,000 bonuses, and permanent wage increases for hourly workers. They call them crumbs. Crumbs, Mr. President. To be fair, in the wealthiest parts of San Francisco or New York, maybe $1,000 does look like a rounding error. And we know those are the places our Democratic colleagues are literally focused on. When President Obama was in power, Democratic policy, policies fueled an incredibly uneven economic recovery. By one estimate, the biggest, richest urban areas captured 73% of all the job gains. Meanwhile, millions of Americans in smaller cities, small towns, and rural areas saw little or no progress. So believe me, after years, of being left behind by Democratic policies, the middle-class Kentuckians I represent and the hardworking Americans all over the country do not see a $1,000 bonus or a $2,000 tax cut as crumbs. Democrats protest America's tax cuts, bonuses, and new jobs. They can protest it all they want to, but Republicans will keep defending middle-class families. <laughs>